Okay, so we're going to go over ACE writing. This is lesson one, so this is the first lesson in our ACE writing unit. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to use ACE as your structure to answer a question and therefore show your critical thinking. The first thing I want you to do is to answer this question. What do you think is the most exciting sport? Great, now that you have your answers, today I'm gonna to teach you a strategy that I want you to use to answer all your questions. It's called the ACE strategy. What is ACE? It's a three part answer, three parts. Each part should really be one sentence. So an ACE answer is going to have three sentences. Your first sentence is your answer. Your second sentence is going to be your evidence for your answer. Your third sentence is going to be your elaboration of your thinking. And we'll go over what each of these means in more detail. So how do you do this? The first thing that you have to do is read the question carefully. What do I mean by that? You need to pause and you need to think about what the question is really asking you. On the previous slide, I asked you, what do you think is the most exciting sport? Well, if you pause and you think about that question, what am I really asking you here? Am I asking you what your favorite sport is? No. Am I asking you what the best sport is? No. I'm asking you what the most exciting sport is. So you need to understand what the word exciting means. And if you don't, that's something you need to look up or ask a friend or ask your teacher. What does the word exciting mean? It means it gives you suspense. It makes you want to keep watching or keep playing. You're not sure what it, what's going to happen. This all creates excite, excitement. So after you've read the question carefully and you know what it's really asking you, you're now ready to actually answer the question. To answer the question in a complete sentence, you're going to start with the sentence starter, I think, and then you'll go ahead and answer the question. So I think the most exciting sport is soccer. Period. Then you're going to cite evidence about the topic that supports your answer. You're going to start this sentence with one reason. One reason I think this is because soccer creates the most suspense. Period. Then I'm going to elaborate by saying how my evidence proves my answer. I'm going to elaborate by using the sentence starter, this is significant because. So you might say, this is significant because the suspense makes the watcher or viewer sit on the edge of their seat the whole time. This creates excitement. Okay. So let's try it again with a different question. What if the question is, what animal do you consider fascinating? I need to pause and think about what this question is really asking me. I'm not asking, it's not asking me what my favorite animal is. It's not even asking me what my least favorite animal is. It's asking me what I consider. So it is asking for my opinion, what I consider fascinating. Again, I need to know what the word fascinating means. And if I don't know, I need to figure it out by looking it up, asking a friend or asking my teacher. I know that fascinating means interesting. So I think camels are fascinating. Notice how I use the sentence starter, I think but I'm not done yet. This is just my answer. I have answered it in a full sentence answer. I used I think, but then I also said camels are fascinating. Notice how I'm using words from my question in my answer. Again, this is just one part to the ACE response. This was the answers that you used to be able to give and it was okay. Now we want more, so you're not done yet. So now I have to cite evidence. I have to think and ask myself, why are camels fascinating? So I've given the answer that they're fascinating, but now I need to tell why. And really, this should not just be my opinion, but this should be evidence, something I can go and I can read in a book or on the internet or ask a professional zoologist. So I write, one reason is that camels can go without water for up to seven months under extreme conditions. Notice, I started with the sentence starter, one reason. Always start with that. You can write one reason is because, or one reason is that, or one reason I think this is because. 
but you should always start with one reason for now. We'll be learning more sentence starters later. Also notice that this evidence is not something that I made up. It is something that I found in a book, on the internet, or from a professional or expert. Now I have my answer and I have my reason. This is still not a complete answer. I need to elaborate my thinking. So I have to ask myself, so what? Why does the fact that camels can store water for seven months matter? How does that make them fascinating? How does the evidence that I just gave prove that camels are fascinating? Well, when I think about it, I think it's fascinating and interesting because I know humans can't do that. So I write that. I write my elaboration like this. This is significant because humans can only last three to five days without water. Notice that my elaboration starts with the sentence starter, this is significant because. This is how I want you to always start this sentence. This is significant because. Now there's a lot of different ways to elaborate, but one thing I will say is that you want to try to avoid any words in your elaboration that you used in the A part of your answer. This is because if you use the same words, then sometimes you're just repeating your A and you're not actually elaborating. So to avoid repeating your A again, try to avoid using the same words. So now we put this all together to form your full ACE response. So the question was, what animal do you consider fascinating? A full ACE response will look like this. I think camels are fascinating animals. Notice that I highlighted my A part green. One reason is that camels can go without water for up to seven months under extreme conditions. Notice I highlighted my C part yellow. This is significant because humans can last three to five days without water. Notice I highlighted my E part pink. I'd like you to get in the habit of doing the same thing. So on your interactive notebooks, when I ask you to write an ACE response, do try to get in the habit of highlighting your A green, your C orange, yellow, and your E pink. Now it's your turn. I want you to answer the question, which sport do you think relies on teamwork the most to win a game? I want you to type your A now. Now that you have your A, I want you to type in your C. What is one reason you think that that sport relies on teamwork the most to win the game? Now that you have your C, I want you to type in your E. Why is it significant? Why is your evidence supporting your claim, your answer? Now I want you to do some more practice. What habit do you think is the most important for a successful student? Go ahead and type in your A. What about your C? What is one reason? Go ahead and type that in now. Finally, your E. Why is this significant? Go ahead and type that in now. So let's think about this response. Well, what is the question really asking me? It's asking me what skill or what habit do students need to do to be successful? So I think about that. And I think that probably it's important for them to pay attention in class. So I'm gonna write that as a full sentence answer. I'm going to write, I think the most important habit for a successful student is to pay attention in class. Then I'm gonna write, well, why? I ask myself, why is that important? Well, if a student pays attention, then they're probably gonna remember what the teacher said. So I write that down. One reason is that a student who pays attention will more likely remember information when he or she needs to take a test. Now I ask myself, so what? Why is this important? Why is it important for them to pay attention? Well, I think about that and I think that, well, it's important that they care about learning and if they have a better grades and they're gonna be more successful. So I write that down. I write, this is significant because not only does the student show the teacher that they care about learning, but his or her grades will also be higher. Now I have my full ACE response. Now I'm gonna try that with question number two. What invention do you think is the most valuable to people today? So here we go again, I'm thinking about the question. I need to know what an invention is. That's like some sort of a technology like your phones or your laptops or the internet. And valuable means that they, benefit 
from it the most. So I think about that, and I think that it's probably their phones because everyone has them. So let's see. I'm going to go ahead and turn that into an answer. I write, I think the invention most valuable today is the cell phone. Now I think, well, why do I think that is? Well, it's because I always see people with cell phones and they're always using them to stay in touch. And I think staying in touch is really important. So I put that into a reason. I say one reason is that people can get in touch with each other no matter where they are in the world. Now, that's not my opinion. That's a fact. If you have a cell phone, you can get in touch with anyone. So now I think, so what? Why does that make it the most valuable? Well, I think especially now during times of a pandemic where we can't really go and see our family, it's important to stay connected. And so I am going to write that. I say this is significant because it allows parents and their children and families to be in contact with each other even when they can't see each other in person. Now I have that full ACE response. So now that you have practiced ACE, I want you guys to go back to that original question that I asked you. What do you think is the most important? Sport. And I'd like for you to give your ACE response to this question.